Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to Nanolay the Zed Dawn. I'm your host, Shadow Fury333, and we're gonna have an exhibition match set today, as usual. It's going to be starting out with North Chilean G versus Exploit on Fairyland. A map I haven't actually shown off in a while. This map is pretty cool. I quite like it. Bit of a sparser map, more of a famine map, but it does have. Well, rather nice aesthetics, and it also has a pretty interesting setup for how you progress through the map. Like, you don't have. It's not quite a cliff and ramp setup, but there is still some distinct choke points, but they're wide enough that they work fairly well for 0k. While still being narrow enough that they matter strategically to hold them. I kind of like how it's set up, but it's not played a huge amount. Anyway, North Chilean G going for the Shield Bot Factory, as is Exploit. We have a Shield Bot in here. Exploit starting out with Dirtbag and Bandit. Actually, a lot of Dirtbags and Bandit. North Chilean G currently only going with one Bandit and mainly focusing on economy, really building up their wind generation very rapidly. While Exploit, on the other hand, a little bit behind for energy de generation. Not a huge deal. I mean, they're definitely going for more of an aggressive strategy. They just need to make sure that that actually does something for them. Which, at this point, will be information. Always valuable. But yeah, information is what dirtbags are for. I'm a bit surprised that Exploit has built four of them. One dirtbag is usually enough to get information. The remaining three are probably going to be used either as just ways of staking out terrain. It looks like that isn't what they're doing. No, they're going into the main base. They're exploring along different angles, but the dirtbags are all going to end up in the main base. So I'm guessing Exploit's going to try to harass with them. It's certainly doable. It's a little difficult because they are melee units in a ranged focused game. They don't have a huge amount of damage, but they have 600 HP each. And short of, you know, a shotgun, they actually do a pretty good job. And Exploit's gone and slowed North Chilean G down a tiny bit by forcing the commander to jump back to defend. Not the most effective thing, but it's not a bad thing. I, am, I, I feel it's worth pointing out just because the thing about commanders is they're slow. They're really slow, and making sure that they're moving around efficiently is an important aspect to success. Now, at this point, the dirtbags really can't do much, but still, I mean, it's important to make sure you're moving your commanders efficiently. Now, the recon commanders are faster, I think, than most, but not by much. If they are faster, it's mostly because of the jumping. So, yeah, that was not terrible. Overall, though, Exploit, North Chilean G are about on par. Exploit's expanding a little bit slower. North Chilean G does have these two metal extractors up, and Exploit does not. Not their analogous ones. They went along the same direction, though. Which makes me feel like North Chilean G is going to have an easier time dealing with everything Exploit builds up. Whereas Exploit's not really doing a whole lot right now. They're distracting North Chilean G, but they haven't really done a huge amount of real damage. Efficient fighting, though. Two bandits for the price of one. Not bad. Keeping North Chilean G from being a bit too confident. Exploit's micro is actually pretty good there. Especially given that they're... I mean, look at Exploit is trying to pick off lone bandits. Once they're away from the group and on the edge of the group, that's... That's good. That's what you want to do. Like, keeping it on the edge like that, that's... That bandit got a lot of damage and not a huge amount. I mean, bandits don't auto-repair, so at least it will be valuable for a longer period of time than, say, if it was a Glaive versus Glaive fight. But that was still pretty good micro. Exploit just needed a few more bandits to work with, and that would have probably been a win for them. Like, if they have the same number of bandits as North Chilean G, I think Exploit will be winning fights. Just from what I'm getting from these first few engagements. At any rate, Exploit still a bit behind, but North Chilean G is accessing metal, so right now the two players are about even. In fact, I think Exploit's a little ahead, being that they are using their metal for production, while North Chilean G, they are building up economy with it, they are using it for a few things, but they are not using it for unit production, so Exploit right now, they're going to be able to really overwhelm North Chilean G within the next couple minutes. Especially now that Exploit's about to get economic parity, and the production is still much better. North Chilean G has yet to match that production, just now getting a caretaker up or two. So, just about finally ready to get that going. And Exploit with a Roach, oh, that's going to be tricky. Great call, if it's placed in the right spot. I don't know if that's the right spot. I would generally put it on the hill here. Because remember, that's a hill. They have to walk over the hill. They can't see it, and they're going to be walking over it like they are right now. Whereas that roach is off to the side where very few bandits are going to be. Although, it looks like... Oh, I see. Maybe Exploit's trying to herd North Chilean G's bandits into that direction where the rest of Exploit's bandits are. But I don't know. Exploit is not paying attention here. I, these bandits are idle. 
they really needed to have moved up about five seconds ago just to be able to intercept this line of bandits coming in from North Chilean G, and that is not what happened. So North Chilean G getting away with murder. I mean, they've really gotten away with a lot more than they should have. Exploit does have another line of bandits to defend against this, which should be able to stop it. North Chilean Gs are going uphill and are all clumped up. Yeah, this exploit takes it with minimal losses. Losing a metal extractor and a couple of bandits, but honestly, the amount of reclaim that's there... I mean, that's 300 reclaim, most of that being North Chilean G's forces. And the Roach actually did die in the area, so yeah, there's a lot of reclaim for exploit. But now North Chilean G has their production on par. The two caretakers are up. Felons are being built, too, as a direct counter to the bandits. And I don't see exploit continuing on to thugs or continuing on to outlaws. Although thugs are the bigger one. So this could go south very quickly for North Chilean, sorry, for Exploit if Exploit does not bear in mind what might be happening. Although, that being said, they haven't scattered it out. But yeah, this Felon, Exploit will probably be able to recover from that Felon, especially with the Reclaim. They haven't even taken the Reclaim yet. Once they do, that'll help a lot. But still, this is going to be tricky. Like, Exploit is going to need to be careful. North Chilean G is still a little bit behind economically, though. Oh, and Philly's pointing out, North, North Chilean G has kind of built up 18 felons, or 19 felons on Q. So, yeah, the main thing at this point is that the bandits are going to die to felons. But Exploit is switching over to Rogue and will probably add in thugs the moment they see felons. Yeah, now they see the felon, let's see how quickly they, or how long they take before they switch over to thugs, because I imagine that won't be too long. Nope, still Rogues. Hmm, interesting. They might continue on with rogues for a little while because rogues aren't going to be a terrible idea against felons. But really, get a shield ball. Get a shield ball and you're basically eating their shields as they try to destroy yours. Like, that's the weakness of felon. Felon cannot deal with large units, cannot deal with heavyweight units because it just loses all its shields. And once all its shields are gone, it's dead. It doesn't have a huge amount of health. 14, 1400 isn't huge when it's that expensive and that heavy of a unit. Most of it's got so much in shields that are it's ammo. Yeah, and of course, once it runs out of ammo, it can't fight back. However, exploits commander way out of position. North Chilean G about to get rid of it. A couple shotgun blasts, uh, one shotgun blast, not even two. So exploit starting to go down. They've really I'm surprised they aren't switching over to a shield ball yet. I mean, the bandits do not make sense. The felons make sense. Sorry, the, not the felons. The rogues make sense. The felons actually do make sense against all these bandits. I don't know why Exploit isn't switching over to the standard Thug Outlaw setup because that, or Thug Rogue setup even. Thug Rogue would actually probably work fairly well against pure felon. But at this point, yeah, North Chilean G's pretty much made a good call. Because I mean, the thing with this call is that roaches die to felons, bandits die to felons, rogues don't die to felons. True, but that's only because they tend not to be in range. If they're in range, they die to felons. So, right now, North Chilean G is pretty much in a okay position, not a perfect ideal position, but still a pretty good position. A few more shields to support this would be fine, but yeah. See, that's the thing. The rogues get a lot of pot shots in. And now we're seeing Thug Law come in. North Chilean G going very hard for the Thug Outlaw. And a few Racketeers too. I mean, the Racketeers are not going to be a huge deal. There's so many rogues that are going to be built that Racketeers are going to be a bit of a supplement, but not super useful. What's going to be super useful is the Thugs. Because that'll support the shields a ton, and that'll also allow for more direct attacks. And if they want to push Bandits underwards, so they probably won't, but if they do, they can. Exploit, however, going for Air Factory. I wonder if they're going to be scouting stuff out, or if they're going to be going more for... What would they go for the Air Factory? Thunderbirds, I guess. I mean, that's the real choice you go for. Against Shieldbots, so you want Thunderbirds. And why are you sending Roaches? I don't know why Exploit keeps sending on Roaches. I think they need to change their Q up, because that Q is not any good. But yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, under, Other than Thunder... I mean, Thunderbirds would help a lot. That's true. At this point, we already have six felons all in a group, and the rogues are doing fine, mostly because North Chilean G is not moving forward to deal with them. 
and other than that, I mean, there's harassment going on around, but at this point, economically, they're about even. Really, is this fight that matters, and I'd say that Exploit is probably winning. They definitely are holding a position. And apart from where the felons are, I mean, the bandits, if they're not where the felons are, are going to do fine. And the felons are all holed up in this one area. My North Chilean G is not touching this at all. Did they disconnect? No, they're still in the game, presumably. Or they were in the game when this happened. They were still in the game. And Exploit is managing to basically push back North Chilean G's forces. They, I mean, North Chilean G could move forward with this Felon Ball and get rid of the rogues. There aren't a huge amount of rogues, and the Felons are charging their shields fast enough that it's not a problem. Like, every one of these Felons is charging plus 18, but then they're also helping each other out, so really, it's this giant ball of... I don't even know how much shields. It doesn't even say. It doesn't have an aggregate shield value over here, which is kind of annoying. Now, finally, North Chilean G's starting to move forward. Which, I mean, it, the exploits forces appear to be on fight move? No, there's an attack, but they are automatically skirmishing. And there we go. There's the Thunderbird. That didn't help out a huge amount. It did reduce some of the shield regeneration, but it hasn't helped out enough to allow rogues, sorry, allow roaches to get in. That's the thing. That seems to be what exploits trying to do is get roaches in, blow up the felon ball with roaches. But that's not working. And otherwise... I mean, bandits coming in, doing a fair amount of harassment, so at least that's happening, that's helping. But the felons are not really doing much at this point. Exploits getting distracted by them, holding them off, pushing them in their own little corner, but really, the real meat of this fight is now over to the northwest. Some harassment going on by Exploit. North Chilean G is solidly getting an economic advantage, though. And another Thunderbird run going to come in. I mean, I think the idea is Exploit wants to Thunderbird or otherwise wipe out the shields of all of these forces and then rush in with a Roach. And the Roach would deal with them. Yeah, and this... Wow! Didn't even get a shot off! How many... That was only six felons, but that's enough. Didn't even manage to kill. So what's Exploit got so far? A few Napalm Bombers. Kind of makes sense. Phoenixes would do okay against the Bandits. But otherwise, not much. And the bandits are going to be rushing in. North Chilean G is going to be moving forward here. And yeah, there are roaches around. There's another one. No, there's no other ones, actually. There's one back here. They're helping out a bit. Oh, there's another one further forward. So the roaches are helping out. Definitely softening up North Chilean G's forces. And probably making North Chilean G much more cautious. Because, I mean, they don't know where the roaches are. And they know Exploit has got lots of roaches. The problem, however, is that the Felons now have some clear movement to move forward. They've managed to get rid of the Rogues. Slowly but surely, they've managed to get rid of the Rogues. And unfortunately, the Thunderbirds aren't able to get shots in to get rid of all those Felons. And at this point, I think North Chilean G is just going to be able to wipe this out. I mean, some damage dealt here. Not sure why the Phoenix has attacked this. I mean, it's not going to do much. It's doing a bit. But really, it's like, send in two or three Thunderbirds so the Felons can't kill all of them. And that way you can wipe out the shields. But I think it's too late for that. I think at this point, Exploit's got to play defense. Try to just break off all these units. Maybe, or break up all these units. Maybe try to set up another harassment force around the side. But I don't know, North Chilean G at this point, they're getting massively ahead economically. A lot of reclaim is being taken, and Exploit has already taken the reclaim near them. Like, there's not much in their base. There's nothing in their base, actually. There's nothing they can really take. And North Chilean G seems to be getting the match to themselves. Exploit not going for outlaws, not going, not even really using these phoenixes. Unfortunately, kind of collapsing at this point. Thunderbird able to come in and deal a bit of damage, but not much. Not enough. And certainly not enough to stop these... I don't know if Exploit's paying attention to these. I feel like they're sending off... Rogues, assuming the Thunderbirds are going to do their job. Sorry, Roaches, assuming the Thunderbirds are going to do their job. And the Thunderbirds never do their job. And so the Roaches aren't being pulled back when they need to be pulled back to not die. I mean, this will work. Except you need another Thunderbird to actually stop them completely. That's the thing. There needs to be one more Thunderbird to get rid of all this. And finally, the Phoenixes actually deal a fair amount of damage, getting through the shields, but still not a huge amount. 
Like, it's damaging, it burns, yes, it hurts them a bit. But it's still not enough for, say, a roach to get in and finish it off. At this point, though, there's some opening. There, I mean, North Trillian G is not attacking. Exploit has a bit of a chance to rebuild over here. Some stuff to reclaim. I don't think they're going to take advantage of it. There's so many convicts. They, these convicts would be going out here rebuilding metal extractors, and that would help a lot. Like, that would get Exploit back in the game. Or at least help them out, maybe get them back in the game. But there is a lull here, and Exploit... I feel like they're not taking advantage of it. Aw, oh, this is where a Roach would actually probably be of some use. I mean, it'll be another seven seconds. Uh, yeah, it's too far away. It would have had to have been already in position. Yeah, it does seem to be that there's a coordination issue here. Like, making sure that all the forces are coordinated that Exploit has. Like, North Chilean G has basically been muscling through. Exploit has been relying a lot more on very skilled coordination of units, but they haven't actually been coordinating those units as well as necessary. And that seems to be a, the main problem. I mean, North Chilean G is being pushed back here, but over to the west, these felons are coming in for the kill. So I think North Chilean G is just going to take this. Probably a bit surprised that Exploit has not rebuilt these metal extractors, because Exploit hadn't. It's one of those things that it's more of a high, much higher level thing, but it's it's one of the things everyone should do, and I gotta remember when I play myself to do it as well, that you always want to rebuild metal extractors. Never be worried that they're going to be destroyed again. Always rebuild them. If, they're, if you think they might even last for half a minute, that's going to pay for itself. Always rebuild them. Do not leave them idle. Do not leave them untaken. Wow, that was a quick sh snapback. But yeah, never just leave metal extractors unclaimed, because otherwise you will fall behind economically. Like, that makes the harassment so much more powerful. Oh, wow, ouch. That's way too close to the pace, apparently. It's a weird Phoenix behavior there. <laughs> Setting itself on fire. Man, those Phoenixes are being more damaging to their own base than they are to North Chilean G's forces. Not sure if something happened with the new engine, but at any rate... Yeah, that... That's weird. Like, Phoenixes don't normally snap that back that quickly. They normally have a bit more of a spin to them when they attack. But at this point, the game's over. Exploit has basically lost it. Unfortunately, but yeah, it just... <clears throat> it just came down to not really coordinating forces when they had to, and... Not really building up for dealing with thugs. I mean, sorry, for felons. I mean, they didn't... Thugs would have helped a lot, because that would have drained off the felon shields. And then... Yeah, otherwise... I don't know, the rogues weren't a bad idea. It's just... Actually, Ractors would have been a really good idea as well. Which we see that Exploit just now has. Ractor, Rogue, Thug would have been a really good idea. Thunderbirds were also not bad, but there needed to be more than for every single volley for it to count. Like, two or three per volley to get rid of all the shields, and then coming with Roach would have helped out. But at this point, North Chilean G has taken the map, and Exploit does not seem too eager to retake it. Like, Exploit is basically letting... They're just letting any damage taken be damage taken forever. Which, like I said, is one of those things that it's... It's characteristic of mid-level play, is that you build up quickly, but then you forget to rebuild as things are destroyed. Oftentimes because you're afraid that you're going to lose things again. But yeah, it's always worth it to rebuild. Anyway, that's that. So partly lack of rebuilding and partly just not really addressing this composition, ideally. The, I mean, that many felons you don't see very often, so it's not something you can easily practice for. But they're definitely a counter-banded force. What was the excess like, too? Oh, wow, Exploit did not excess at all. North Chilean G accessed quite a bit, but Exploit didn't. And actually, for the most part, yeah, that seemed to have been a huge difference economically. Like, North Chilean G produced for more metal, but Exploit used a lot more up until near the end of the game. But yeah, see, this is around the time that Felons popped up, and that's where it all went down. Because Exploit just couldn't kill them. They didn't have the forces. They didn't have the unit composition to kill them. 
Well, at any rate, that was that. So next game is going to be between Hokomoko and Spatapluk on Iceland. So that'll be up in a couple minutes. Stay tuned.